What's going on you guys? Today is a pretty exciting day, but before we get started, make sure to subscribe and like the video. It's funny how many cars we have back here. It's almost like we're having a mini car show. I don't think we could get the Starliner back here. There's absolutely no room for it. So a lot of people have been asking me about this motor. The previous owner did everything to it. He built it up. It's pretty mild, but I mean, it is fast for what it is, but it is, you know, a 289. Uh, but yeah, I've been wanting to like work on it and add stuff to it and, you know, make it more me. You know, we have an Edelbrock four barrel carb, nothing crazy. It's completely out of tune. And the car dies whenever you come to a hard stop or, you know, you do a burnout or something, it just cuts off. It has electric choke, but it's totally messed up. It's not even hooked up, um, so that doesn't even work. And you know, the intake was put on from the previous owner and, you know, Looks pretty old, the paint's coming off. But actually, it's pretty cool. Holly reached out to me, specifically Steve from Holly, and he's like, I watched one of your videos, and it seems like your car's having a hard time starting up. He's like, well, let's collaborate and let's do something. So I was like, awesome. So we're gonna do an unboxing of the stuff they gave me. I'll have everything linked in the bio. Just have it there so you know what I'm doing. So yeah, let's go check out what I have and let's get to it. So the first thing we're gonna look at is in this box. It's a little heavy, but we'll get it out right now. <laughs> so yeah, this is actually a wind intake, a Y end. I think that's how you sit. I don't know why I have an issue with it. Y end, Y end. It's a dual plane, low rise. It looks pretty cool. It's gonna be nice and shiny at last. That's like the, my favorite thing is, you know, with an old car with like bad paint or whatever, you put something new into it, it just stands out and it looks really cool. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty funny. I didn't know this until like recently, but Holly owns so many companies now. They own Wyand, they own like, I don't know, if you go on their website, it's literally everything. So that's kind of funny. So yeah, let me pull it out of the box and let's get a closer look. So here's a better look at the intake. And this thing looks so cool, all shiny. It's gonna look great in the car. I'm also excited because this is gonna be a fairly simple install. You can't really screw it up unless if you break a bolt. That is like the worst thing ever and so annoying. It literally makes, you know, your easy one day job turn into <laughs> a long job. And you know what? That's happened to me a lot and it's probably happened to you. If everything goes to plan and everything's easy, this should be a very simple install. The one reason why I went with the wine intake is because my dad has so many. He has a, some parts on bad news that's wind, and I think there's actually an intake on the wall that's actually wind too. All right, so let me get another box out. This might be a little obvious. What's in the box? You wanna play that game? <laughs> actually, this might be a little hard to get out. It's a tight squeeze. Oh. oh, I guess we're just gonna rip this box. All right, cat's out of the bag. It is a new carburetor. So let's open this up. Oh yeah, look at that. Something bright and shiny. So this is actually a Street Avenger carb. You know what, I don't even know why I'm talking about it with a bag over it. How are you ever gonna know what's in it? So <laughs> let me take this bag off. So look at that, that looks so new and shiny. I'm not used to it. This is gonna look cool in the car. But yeah, it's a 670 CFM carburetor. Some people might say that's too big for a 289. It might be, but if it is, you know, we could just jet it differently and tune it and then use this on a bigger motor one day whenever that happens. But yeah, I mean, it, the 289 is built, so it's not like just putting a huge carburetor on a stock motor. You know, everyone's motor is gonna be different. Just because I'm putting this on my car doesn't mean it will work on your car. Pretty sure there's a calculator online to tell you which carb is best for your engine, so Definitely look into that when you're going to get a new carburetor. It's just gonna be all experimenting, so it's gonna be fun. I'm always up for challenges. I don't really know how to tune a carburetor. You know, I know how to set, you know, the idle and stuff like that. So I'm excited when I put this on my car, you know, I'm gonna just have to learn. And I mean, if I can't figure it out, I have people to reach out to, but I want to try to get it at least baseline, you know, <laughs> at least somewhat drivable. It's also gonna be nice to have an electrical choke. I mean, you don't really need one in California, but it'll just make it a little bit easier. So Holly also sent over new bolts, a new thermostat, a gasket maker, all that type of stuff. So huge shout out to Holly once again. I'm really happy to work with them and I'm excited to install everything on my car. The only thing I'm waiting on is just uh, the intake manifold gaskets. So I don't know when they're gonna come. It could be tomorrow, it could be a week from now. So that's what I'm waiting on. Once I get it, we're gonna install everything on my car and I'm, it's gonna be awesome. So keep your eyes out for that. It might be you know, towards the end of the month, who knows what's gonna happen. Uh, but yeah, stay tuned and <laughs> we'll see you guys soon. When it's 